Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a really quick video going over how to send a basic email using Power Apps. So this method is gonna work with Outlook, which you probably have if you're working with Power Apps anyway. Um, there is a way to do this with Gmail, but we're not gonna be covering that today. So to start off, we're gonna to wanna to go to Data Sources on the left side and click that button. And then we're going to click Add Data. And in the search box here, we're just gonna type in Outlook. So two options show up. We have Office 365 Outlook and Outlook.com. Um, I believe that this Outlook.com connector is going to be deprecated at some point. Um, so we wanna use the Office 365 Outlook connector, even though this one will still work. Um, I'm unsure when that's happening, but we're gonna go ahead and click this one. So now we're just gonna click it again and it should make that connection. So before we send the email, I'm gonna open the documentation on this connector, which I have copy and pasted, uh, but I will have in the description below. So this is Microsoft's documentation on the Office 365 Outlook connector. Um, we're actually going to scroll down until we find the action section. So now that we're in the action section, we can kind of see all the actions we can invoke and use with this connector, but we're going to try to find the one that says send email, which should be down here. So right here, we can see that the newest action is called send an email v2. Uh, the old one was deprecated. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. So this will jump us over to all the parameters of this action. Uh, and this is just a really helpful tip for anyone getting started with Power Apps when you're working with connectors uh, to certainly utilize this documentation. So we're not gonna go over all the capabilities of this connector today, just how to send a basic email. So we can see here that the only required actions are two, subject, and body. Uh, these two down here are not required. This is only if you're sending attachments. So we're just gonna focus on these three for the video. So now that we have a little bit better understanding of this connector, we're gonna jump back to our Power App. So now we're gonna drop down some text fields to pass the Outlook action. Uh, the first one is going to be the to address. So we're gonna give its hint texts to say to, and we're gonna rename it to say to underscore txt. And now we'll just copy and paste that down for the subject and we'll rename that one to subject underscore txt and we'll set its hint text to be enter subject. And now we'll copy and paste one more time for the body um, and we'll call that body underscore txt. And we'll change its hint text to say enter message body. So now to wire this up, we're gonna drop down a button and we will rename this button and we'll say send and we'll just call this send button. So to make this send to email, we're gonna to wanna to click on our send button and make sure that we're on the on select property so that when we select this, it'll fire off our email and we can go ahead and delete the false that's there and we'll expand our formula bar a little bit. So we're gonna start by typing in the name of the connector, which again over here is Office 365 uh, Outlook. And we can see that all the actions available to us will show up below here. Uh, so we can either type in send email v2 or we can click it here. So we'll just click it there and it'll open a parenthesis for us. Uh, and we can see now at the top that the order that it wants us to fill this out is in two comma subject comma body. So what we're gonna do is say two underscore txt dot text. So pulling the text property of whatever's in that uh, text input and now comma. And then we'll do the same for subject underscore txt dot text um, and then the last one is body so comma body underscore txt dot text so we could close this off here um, and as i said before these are the only three required fields uh, that we need to supply this for it to work uh, but if we do comma again uh, we can see that up here in brackets we have all of the other parameters we could fill out so you can see the from the cc the bcc attachments and sensitivity so so just for the sake of the demo, we'll add in the CC so you can kind of get a better understanding of how that works. And again, you don't need to fill these out, uh, but what we're gonna do is add our brackets and then close off our parentheses. So now if we wanna add our CC, we'll just say CC colon. This is where you'd supply an email address to CC. Uh, again, so once type string, so we're gonna use double quotes and I already have my email address copied um, to my clipboard, so I'll just paste that in there um, and we can expand this a little bit um, and take a look at our email. So what we can see we're just gonna send an email based on these text boxes here, um, and it's gonna CC uh, to my email. So we can quick give this thing a try, so we'll click play. So in the to field, I'll paste my email address in, and in the subject line, I'll type in subject goes here, and in the body, I'll just type in a bunch of gibberish. And now we should be good to click send. So I'll click that, and I'm gonna go open up my email, and I'll be right back. So I'm in my email now and we can see that we got the email. Uh, again, this is our account that we have from the developer program, which is why the display name looks weird, but we can see that we got the subject goes here and the body we sent and it went to the email address as well as CCing correctly.
So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Just a really quick intro on sending an email for Power Apps. Uh, certainly reach out with any questions in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.